It's a big night of high school sports in our community. The News 8 Highlight Zone starts now. Good evening, I'm Greg Wavrenek. And I'm Charlie Clifford. Tonight, the game that will decide how the Cooley Conference shakes out this season. Arcadia, unbeaten on the year, traveling to Westby, who suffered their first loss of the season last week. In Division 5, Arcadia ranked number two, Westby number eight in this week's WISports.net Coaches Poll. First, Arcadia drive capped by a one-yard Jim Hesley touchdown run. It's 7-0. Second quarter, Raiders run it up the middle with Jacob Slobby, and he takes it 55 yards to pay dirt. Score now 14 zip. Off a muff punt, it's that Hesley to Hesley connection. Rob to Jim. Arcadia up 21 to nothing at the half. Opening drive of the second half now. Rob Hesley faking the pitch, and he's going to keep it himself. What a Running play. around the outside. 31 yards for the score. Then Jim Hesley coming off an interception on the defense, runs it in for his third touchdown of the night. Arcadia rushing for almost 400 yards and Westby held to under 100 total yards. Raiders 44-0 win, clinches a share of the Cooley Championship. GET going for conference win number three, which would place them in the playoffs. Red Hawks hosting Luther, first play from scrimmage. How about this, Ben B and huge hole right side. There he goes, just like that, eight nothing. That's all the Red Hawks defense needed. A swarm of Red Hawks right here with the sack. GET 44 0 in the final. Black River Falls, a 42 0 winner. Both of the, those wins clinch a spot in the postseason. Greg, it's a rivalry on the football field that dates back to 1928. Yeah, tonight, the 90th edition of Central versus Logan. Battle for the Arc of Victory. Rangers entering the night, tied for first in the MVC and winners of the Arc game the past three years. First quarter, Logan strikes quickly. Rangers' Manny Buchanan coming out of the backfield. 19 yards later, he's in the end zone, and they lead 7-0. Later in the first, more Rangers, more Buchanan. Finding the end zone for the second time. Just like that, Rangers hold a 14-0 lead. Second quarter, Logan keeps the offense running, literally. This time, though, Andy Metcalf plunges up across the line. Rangers up 21-0. Red Raiders would get the end zone here on fourth and one. Tristan Morgan getting that one yard and plenty more. Mm -hmm. But the arc of victory will stay on the north side for another year. Logan, a 38-12 winner. There we go. The other MVC leader, Holman, on the road at Onalaska Hilltoppers needing one more win to become playoff eligible. Third quarter, Holman moving so quick, don't even see the snap. Viking Seth Wilson, big finish, 77 yards. That's his fifth TD of the game already. It's 33-10 wow. lead. Fourth quarter now, more Vikings this time. Zach Rusk, he sprints to the end zone. Vikings now up 40-10. to Onalaska keeps fighting. Jalen Zubik takes the hat off and fights his way into the end zone for the score, but it'd be too little too late. Holman, a 40 to 17 winner as they keep pace with Logan. Elsewhere, West Salem hosting Aquinas, both two and three in the MVC winner, keeps their playoff hopes alive. Second quarter, West Salem out to a 21-6 lead. Aquinas looking to cut into that lead. Fourth and goal, Tyler Young looking middle, but he's picked off the Panthers looking to convert off that turnover, and they do just that. Pearson Cannon gets to the edge, and the score for the six. Panthers up 28-6, and they ain't done. Tim Schaff calling his own number, taking it up the middle, fighting his way in for the score. Panthers up 35-6 at the break. West Salem keeps their hopes alive with a win tonight, 49-26. We wrap up rivalry week in the MVC. Toma traveling to Sparta in the second Jack Hay keeping the ball around the end. Touchdown, Toma up 6-0. Second quarter, Jared Sullivan, Cyrus Beer, the screen. The Spartans take advantage, 7-6. And with 20 seconds to go in the half, Hay finding it through oh. the air. Kyle Kaner right there in the end zone. Toma, 14-7 at the break. And right there, Toma. That's the winner. How about that, Greg? Clinching a playoff spot with the win. Final and beans in the SWC. This was a ball game. Prairie du Chien host in Lancaster. If you went to the hot dog stand at the end of the first, you're in trouble. Here we go. First score of the game right here. It was 7-6 there. Right is in on the keeper. So 14-6 PDC. Ensuing kickoff. Greg, we saw Lancaster take one on the chin to Arcadia earlier this season. But tonight, Garrett Brickett brought it. 67 yards back to the house. Two-point conversion good. 
14-14. After a Peyton Hall PDC touchdown, Nick Wood morphed into Deion Sanders there momentarily. 21-20 Lancaster. We're still in the second quarter. Brogan Potter not done. Casey Hoganson, Blackhawks up five, and PDC hangs on in a wild one to clinch at least a share of the conference title. Hope you got your popcorn before the action started <laughs> in that one. Also tonight, number one ranked Pep and Alma wins 50 to 14, clinching a share of the Lakeland South Championship. Mauston losing their first conference game of the season. We still have lots to get to, including two state ranked matchups for the final week of the Minnesota regular season. The News 8 highlights, I'll be right back. Back to the News 8 Highlight Zone. It's the final night of the regular season for Minnesota teams. We have a couple of unbeaten matchups in our area with sub-district championships on the line. Let's begin at Paul Gill Field, where number seven ranked in 4A Winona hosts number one in 5A Mankato West. Just before the half, big play here for the Windhawks. Tanner Remlinger barrels in from a yard out, blocked PAT, but they're within eight points. To the third, check it out here now. PJ Apicelli to Logan Smith, who comes down with the oh ball my. inbounds at the one yard line. What a catch leading to this very next play. Apicelli sneaking up the middle. Winona pulling within nine, 28 to 19, but they didn't have an answer for the Scarlet offense after that. Charles Terry takes the jet sweep into the house for six more. Winona's unbeaten season comes to an end. They lose 42 to 19. Number two ranked in the state, Spring Grove, hosting number one and two-time defending state champion, Grand Meadow, closing seconds of the second quarter. Grand Meadow trying to get the lead going into the half, but Spring Grove's Chase Grindy picking off the pass. That keeps the score 7-7 at the break. Third quarter, Grand Meadows, Christopher Bain scoring from two yards out, and they take a 14-7 lead. Ensuing drive for Spring Grove. They go to a wide receiver wow. screen, and there's Grindy to Dylan Camstro. He takes it 83 yards for the touchdown. Game tied up. What a ball game between these two rivals. Grand Meadow squeezes by, getting a 21 to 20 win over Spring Grove. How about that? Number one ranked Caledonia looks to cap off a perfect regular season. Hosting Chatfield, first quarter. Caledonia's defense getting it done. Sean McGilligal here, the interception. Warriors unable to capitalize. It's nothing, nothing after a quarter. And then finally, this connection hooks up. Owen King, Tanner Grand, 14 yard score. 28 points in the second. Leads to a 35 nothing Caledonia win as they finish the regular season unbeaten. More Minnesota scores. Cannon Falls takes care of La Crescent. St. Charles over Cotter. Houston doubles up Lanesboro and Mabel Canton all over West Luther. Well, Whitehall, the final unbeaten standing right now in Dairyland play. But three teams right on their heels, just a game back. One of them, Oliva Strum. Cardinals travel tonight to take on the Norse. And they score first on a short end zone run. Dustin Topper, you're gonna wake up in the morning with a paper and a TD next to your name running through. Two-point conversion, good. Norseman, though, come right back to tie it at the end of the first quarter. Peyton Slabby connected to Austin Powell through the air. Check out this catch, oh, back of the end gets zone. Gets that one foot down, and yeah, he points yes, it out. Yes, he did. Cardinals were started to slip ahead. A quarterback run here. Jediah Lorenz results in a touchdown and a score. 20 to eight to score at the half. Whitehall would come back in the fourth to take the lead. Oliva Strum answers in the final minutes. Cardinals win 28-22. Melrose also just one win uh, back in conference entering the night.